Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and it is Tuesday, the Tuesday after Labor Day. So I'm just getting back to work today. We had off yesterday, which was it was pretty nice even though it's supposed to be a long weekend it still did not feel long enough so uh yeah there's that i swear weekends in the army they're never weekends in the army are never long enough anyway and i hate that but <laughs> i just wanted to give y'all a quick update because when i say I, I started off being consistent right i told myself i was gonna come back i was gonna be consistent i had a goal to hit my 10k before the year was out and that that shit's not gonna happen i'm just gonna be completely honest i don't know when i'm gonna be back actually back consistently but y'all it's coming i promise i promise but just to give you a quick update on what's been going on to, to kind of catch you up so basically when i first got here i was low-key homeless when i say i'm stuck in this hotel and it was really eating me up because i was spending so much money like 400 500 a week in this really crappy crappy hotel i'm talking about a hotel spending 500 400 500 a week and they don't even have they have three channels on the TV, no microwave in a room, like nothing. Like it was just trash. It was just complete trash. And it was frustrating the hell out of me because then I finally found a place and don't don't get mad. But I low-key moved in with a freaking stranger. Um, it's not a stranger anymore, but I low-key moved in with a stranger. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to make sure this lighting ain't all uh, crazy. But I low-key I low-key moved in with a stranger and it, it, like I said, it's not a stranger anymore, but it was kind of, it, it, was, it was a strange situation, but it's pretty nice because I don't, oh, come on. I don't know where to put this. It's fine because I don't have to pay a ton in rent. So my rent right now is like around five something because I have a roommate. Um, so that's nice. That's, that's the upside. And then on top of that, it is about five minutes from the schoolhouse like five minutes from the schoolhouse maybe six seven minutes from the company so i don't have to get up super early and it's not a super far drive at all it's literally right out of the gate downside apartments are trash apartments are uh, so crappy when i first looked at them and when i did the walkthrough they walked me through this nice area of the complex like towards the office they walked me through a really really nice apartment it looks so cute but then when you actually move in and you get the apartment that you're going to be living in and i'm walking like through the actual complex and like seeing how it is it's dirty trash i'm like this is the hood this is the slums actually it's it's not a place i would want my children to live in at all but like i said um don't have the kids with me so i'm just here to save money and finish this finish this course on top of that everybody's been having pay issues i'm just glad that i was able to get my pay issues resolved early because y'all know how i am i open my mouth and i will speak about something like hey bruh my pay not right somebody needs to fix this finally got my pay issues and stuff resolved and it's honestly just been going through the class just taking it test by test this light is so bright y'all i'm so sorry but yeah just taking everything test by test so it's been going pretty good i haven't really been doing much when it comes to like going out and stuff like that but i definitely have been out and about enjoying myself uh we've been down to the river walk a few times i've been to a few different places just to try the different brunches because you already know one thing about me is i'm going to i'm oily i'm going to eat some food like wherever we're going to try new food that's where i want to go i'm going to try to start doing a little bit more to enjoy myself because y'all i'm i'm in that phase again and I'm trying so hard to stop myself from going back into that phase where it's like, I'm just in my head all the time. I'm in my notebooks all the time, writing my to-do list, just doing the absolute most because I feel like my life ain't going no damn where. But realistically, I'm perfectly fine. I feel like I be in, how can I explain it? I feel like I'm not doing anything with myself. I feel like I'm not doing anything with my life, but that's just in my mind i have to keep remembering that that is something that's in my mind so i be occupying my time with unnecessary things that i don't have to do to make me feel like i'm being productive when i'm doing nothing really that is going to benefit anything i'm just making lists and stuff like that so i just need to start getting out a little bit more so i cannot do that 
Um, my cats, they're doing perfectly fine. I had two that was pregnant unexpectedly. I did not know these little devils were pregnant and they just recently had their kittens. And one litter is about to be about five, six weeks while the other litter was pretty much just born. I'm just waiting until I'm able to, I guess, throw them up on the Facebook marketplace, find a place to put them because y'all, I'm not keeping these kittens. They're adorable, they're the cutest thing, but I cannot keep any more cats. I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for the updates, but I'm about to go ahead and hurry up and get to this freaking class before I'm late. I'm not going to be late. I got about 15 minutes to get over there, so no big deal. But yeah, it is good to kind of be back, y'all. I've been wanting to grab this camera and just record something for so long, but I just, I hit, um, what do you call it? It's like a, um... A creative block I hate this hat oh, you see I hate like a what the hell is it called I just said it a creative block <laughs> where I don't feel like it's not that I don't feel like doing anything I just don't have any ideas and that's not just for my YouTube channel that's for my freaking Instagram as well which is even more frustrating because Instagram is kind of where I'm making my money right so if I don't have any ideas or anything that I want to create, how am I supposed to make money? For the last few months on Instagram, I haven't really made as much as I'm usually making and that's really frustrating. It's something, you know, I can pay some bills, but God dang, I need to stop playing and get back to it. But my stomach hurt, I feel like I gotta poop. Let me go and sign into my computer, check my emails and all that good stuff. All right, I'm gonna see y'all when I take a break. Hey guys, what's up? I am back and I'm out of class. I got out of class like an hour and a half-ish ago. I am very irritated right now because um, I have plans for today. So I ended up renting a U-Haul a few days ago because I found this couch, y'all. I've been on a hunt for, let me over. I've been on a hunt for a couch and I'm looking for the perfect couch. I want a sectional. I want it lighter in color. Definitely not white, but I do want like a bright taupe or like a nice light cream colored couch. And I found the perfect one on Facebook Marketplace. Perfect. I looked at all the pictures. I was talking to the lady. It came with a matching ottoman. It was perfect. And I rented the U-Haul so I can go out and get it. So I got out of class just a little bit early, not even that early. I got out a little bit early and I'm trying to head over to the U-Haul place. To be completely honest, I should have just left class way earlier than I did. I was too busy trying to wait around to see if any additional information was going to be put out. Which it wasn't, so I wasted my own time. That's my fault. But, um... Yeah, as I'm on my way to U-Haul, y'all know I don't have a sense of direction and I have to use my GPS. I'm using my GPS and I don't know what happened, but my whole entire phone went out. My whole entire phone glitched, went out, and I couldn't make calls, I couldn't send text messages, I couldn't get on the internet, and so obviously I couldn't even use my GPS. I'm like riding the streets, cannot figure out where the hell I'm going, and ultimately I ended up stopping in a gas station parking lot for like a good 15 20 minutes trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with my phone because honestly i didn't know how to get to the u-haul place i didn't know how to get back home from there and i'm like what the hell am i gonna do like <laughs> i'm low-key stranded because i don't know my way around here my phone started working again but by the time i ended up riding the lady back and I'm asking her like, hey, so where am I gonna go when I get out here? So when I ended up asking her um, basically the location, she never wrote back. Well, she wrote back, but it was late as hell. And at that point, come on, bro, like really? Okay, so we're being dumb, we're, we're being dumb. Thank you. She wrote back and when she wrote back, she was basically just saying head towards Cedar Creek or whatever, Cedar, Cedar something. I can't remember the exact whatever right now, but it was Cedar something, Texas or whatever. So ultimately I was just like, you know what? Um, thank you, but I'm not gonna be able to make the seven o'clock time. You know, thank you anyway, something like that I said. But honestly, like seriously, what was so hard with just giving the actual like time when you want me to be there? 
the location you want me to meet you in of course if you don't want me to like come to your place or whatever the case may be it was really stupid i'm still low-key irritated and i'm trying to calm down off my attitude because i don't need anybody re you know what, what am i trying to say reaping what the fuck am i trying to say i don't need to be taking out my attitude on people that didn't upset me is what i'm trying to say and i should have been over there because now i want a starbucks this is a random stop but i just saw it and i really really need it um but yeah so now i'm just running around to a few different places to see if i can find a couch ideal hold on Oh shoot, this is a whole lane. I'm still running around trying to find a couch that's ideal to what it is that I'm looking for. I just went to a few places. There's one more place that I wanna try actually. That's where I'm heading to. I'm about three minutes away right now. So, yeah. Why is this so, like, and, and you know what's crazy? I shouldn't be as irritated as I am. Like yes it's an inconvenience yes i literally been trying to get this couch for like two weeks now but it's not that big of a deal it's a couch so why do i feel so irritated about it I, like calm down andrea isn't it trust me it's not that deep it's a goddamn couch if anything it was probably a sign that you didn't need to go all the way out there and get that one anyway even though it was only three hundred dollars it's three hundred dollars now i'm about to pay full price for a couch when I could have got one for three hundred dollars. Um, can I just have a venti white chocolate mocha hot? Um, can I have that with vanilla and oat milk, please? Uh, no, that's fine. Can you just do a venti pink drink with light ice? more of the acai than the coconut milk. Is it just me or Starbucks is getting pretty expensive? I feel like it wasn't this, it wasn't always this expensive. Is it the coconut milk in there? Yeah, it's just that since it has more strawberry base, you can't really tell. Ah, that's fine. Oh God, it's all strawberry acai. Oh God, it's so tangy. Oh, do I wanna complain about it? I don't wanna complain. It's not that bad, but it's... <sighs> mm. Mm. Do I want to complain about this drink? I don't. I don't want to have to do... No, I'm just going to... I'm just going to suck it up. I just got this freaking drink from Starbucks. Oh, so irritated. <laughs> and I usually get it. It's like, I can't, it's like, you, you're supposed to ask for more of the strawberry or acai than the coconut milk because I like it just a little bit more fruity than it is milky. And obviously they didn't put no damn coconut milk in it at all. Like it literally looks and tastes like they didn't put any. And she's like, oh, well we just put extra in there. Are you sure? You, I mean, yeah, you put extra in there but you kind of forgot to put the coconut milk in there as well. Like this is a drop of coconut milk. And here I go again because this shouldn't be making me as irritated as it's making me, but what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> I should oh my god, this shouldn't be bothering me this much. Like I'm to the I'm no. I shouldn't be this upset, but I'm low-key about to be in tears. Cause why the fuck is my day going so horrible? Like I didn't I didn't have a good day. I didn't have a good day. I didn't get to sleep last night. I didn't have a good day. Now everything is just going wrong. Like, <sighs> yeah. 
child. Like, I don't understand. Okay. I'm about to just go finish looking at my furniture. And I'm gonna just talk to y'all when I come back. <laughs> okay? I'll talk to y'all. Got some in my teeth. I was able to literally feel myself biting. Like, oh, is this so bad? So that place didn't have anything that I wanted or was interested in. Ugh, why is this even an issue? Don't tell me my internet just stopped working again. When I say I was freaking out, I could not figure out where I was going, how to get home, how to get anywhere. And I can't stand when people tell me, oh, well, you need to kind of, you need to learn how to navigate. Yeah, that's cool and everything. But if I'm just new somewhere and I've never been in the area, I've never been in a location, I need my damn GPS. I will learn how to navigate when I've been to the destination or to the location a few different times. Like, don't tell me, oh, you need to learn how to navigate. I know. It's just, it's, it's not going to just happen overnight you know but yeah i'm about to go to this other furniture place real quick and i will see y'all when i get there so i just pulled up to what is this this is american freight furniture mattress and when i was pulling up i won't lie this shit looks so run down i'm like what the fuck is this but um i guess it's legit i see other cars and stuff in the parking lot because on the other side of the building it looks super run down like it's um like next to a railroad track and I don't know it was just looking real sketchy but when I turned the corner I mean I see it looks yeah but yeah I'm about to go in here see what it is I can find that's if I find anything at all because I'm very particular I don't care if I have to be here this entire time without a couch in my crib because I'm no longer buying things that I don't want just because I couldn't find the thing that I wanted. I will wait for it. Y'all, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this freaking couch. Y'all don't understand. I need to look at it again. Hold on. I took a picture of it. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to really like this. I like the color. I like how light it is. Yeah, I went in there and I'm telling him, I'm like, this is like the fourth or fifth place that I went to today. And then I just randomly started um, pulling stuff up on, what I tell him? I told him I randomly started pulling stuff up on, um, what is that? On Google and he popped up and I just came in and he's like, oh, I, po I popped up on Google because the owner's in there. And I guess he just, he didn't just open, but he's still fairly new or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, it was like the third one that popped up on Google. So I guess he was pretty excited about that. But I got such a good deal on this couch and this ottoman. It's, it's crazy. It's it's, it's ridiculous. Um, gosh, I, I can't even focus. Focus. Where am I going? I'm going home. They will be coming out on Saturday to drop everything off. Um, where am I going? Y'all, I can't even focus my mind right now because this was a big <laughs> this was a big accomplishment for me today. Oh shoot, I'm seven minutes away from my crib. That's what's up. That's what's up. But yeah, this was a big accomplishment for me because I kid y'all not, like I've been dying for a couch. I wanted something light, something that is going to kind of keep my area really bright because I mean it's a very small apartment. So if I have a bunch of um if I have a bunch of really dark furniture, it's gonna make the room look even smaller or feel even smaller. So I'm just super happy that I was able to find this couch. I'm so excited.
Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. So last I left off, I was coming back from lunch yesterday. Right now it is Thursday. It's the next day. It's Thursday. I am in some football attire, football wear because we were authorized to wear it today. So I was pretty excited about that. So I ran out yesterday and bought a shirt and I also bought some shoes that I wonder if I can show you. Boom, these. Yesterday when I was getting off um, lunch, I had this super cute idea. I wanted to do like these little transitions and show you guys my process of getting from, coming back from lunch basically. Like it wasn't anything special, but it was supposed to be cute. And then maintenance decided to knock on the door. At all the times you wanna come, we've literally been putting in work orders in the apartment for a good month. Honestly, since we moved in. The day after we moved in when we noticed a lot of stuff was messed up. We placed work orders and it took us basically being the biggest bitches in the world for them to actually come out and fix things because it's not even like it's something that we can get by with. I'm talking the refrigerator's leaking and all the food is freezing. The sink is leaking super bad. The toilet was leaking. Everything was leaking. Everything was broken. The lights don't work. All, of, all the outlets and stuff don't work. So it was like, I was just very confused on why it even took so long for them to come. Anyway, as I was in the middle of filming my stuff, they came in, so I didn't even get a chance to um, finish what I was gonna do, but whatever. Anyway, so yeah, today's Thursday. It is 0726, and I'm just in the car. I just got out of formation. I stopped at Starbucks and grabbed some bacon egg bites in a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. I get mine with two shots instead of the four, I believe that comes in the venti, and 12 pumps of brown sugar. Yes, one, two, 12 pumps of brown sugar. Class today is probably just gonna be a lot of review and then we're gonna be going over some cardio pulmonary stuff. So it's gonna be an average day, you know, so. Dang it, I just realized I forgot my perfume I was supposed to bring. But um, but yeah, I'm about to go ahead and sit here, watch some YouTube videos or whatever, and then go to class. All right, I'm gonna see y'all in a bit. Hey y'all, so once again, I didn't come back when I was supposed to, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out here because as of right now, close I'm that sucking. Shit out. As of right now, I'm sucking. <laughs> but I'll probably start another one literally after I close this out. But. As usual, if you have any questions, comments, make sure you comment those down below and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Bye.